Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 40. And in this tutorial, we are gonna take a look at more elements that go within a form. And uh, there's definitely a few more elements that I wanna show you guys. These are not input elements, they're actually just other elements that go in a form. So they don't have um, a tag called input, right? But they do have other tags. And uh, yeah, if we take a look at this right now, you can see that I've cleared out the code in my form. And uh, yeah, we have just a blank submit, or we have a blank website with a submit button. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in a few elements within this form. Now, the first one I wanna show you guys is something called a field set. Uh, so go ahead and just type in field set. And if you save this and uh, run that in the browser, you just kinda get like a very big blank box. Uh, and basically what happens is, or basically what this, this field set is for, is um, to place other elements inside of it. Uh, and you can also place a legend within that field set. So just to give this a little bit more spacing, let me add a break tag. Um, and then let's add a legend here. So uh, legend is another uh, useful tag that always goes within field set because the legend uh, and the field set kind of go hand in hand. Um, this creates a caption for the field set. So let's type in something like personal data, save this, jump back of the browser, refresh. And now you can see that our legend appears in the top of our field set. So this is nice for if you have a bunch of different um, sections within your form. So one can be personal data and you can have another section for, um, you know, uh, like uh, work data or family data or something like that. And um, yeah, basically just divide the form up into a bunch of different sections. That is what uh, field sets are for. All right, but let's just work with one for now. And um, now, because we have this field set, let's go ahead and put in a few other elements. So obviously we can work with our input of type text and ask the user for their name. Um, now we already know what this is gonna look like, so I'm not gonna bother refreshing just yet. Um, but maybe let's also add in a label. Okay, because you guys need to know how to use labels or where your labels are useful, which kind of we've already worked with. Um, but let's refresh that. And so we have uh, a place for the user to enter in their name, all right? Uh, we also might ask them for their email address and so on and all these other input elements that we have already looked at. Uh, but I want to try and hit all the tags that we haven't looked at yet. So one of those uh, is a select box. Um, so let's just add in a couple break tags over here. Break and uh, break. Uh, I'm just doing this for uh, spacing reasons so that it doesn't all appear on one line. Uh, and now let's go ahead and type in select. And if you type in select just like this and leave a blank, you kind of don't end up with anything. Uh, but what a select box does is give us a little drop down list that we can then select items from. So uh, right now a blank select kind of just gives you this blank box. Uh, which is very useless. So let's go ahead and give it a few options. So you basically place all these option tags within the select box, uh, and then that gives you options that you can actually select from that box. So um, let's say we're, we're asking the user for their career. So let's just grab a label here so we know what this is for. Um, so basically, uh, what is your profession or something like that? and then they can fill in a software engineer or let's give another option here, uh, social media manager. And let's give it a third option as well. Something else that they could select that is a job um, Brand manager, something like that. Ooh, okay, cool. So let's uh, come back over to the browser, refresh, and now you can see that we have this uh, drop down list with a bunch of professions that the user can choose. So that's how you create a select box in HTML, right? Uh, there also are 
or there is one other element that I definitely want to show you guys, which is a um, text area. So let's add in a couple break tags over here again, break and break, and then add in a text area, right? So a text area allows the user to fill in a lot of information, basically. It's not these small input types, but you actually get like a place where you can type paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs of info. Uh, so uh, I just wanna show you guys a few other attributes that you can put in here. Because right now you'll see that when you uh, load the page, this uh, box, uh, this text area kind of uh, is very small. You do have the option to resize it, but it is quite small. So let's, uh, let's add some coals. So let's say 50. Now coals stands for columns and that just determines how wide your uh, text area is going to be. So remember earlier on it was kind of like quite small, but now at 50 it's uh, it's much much bigger and you can make that like 80 or something and make it even bigger right uh, then you can also add rows so because we've got the calls attribute we can also add rows and um, I'm just gonna set uh, 10 rows over here and watch what happens when I hit refresh we now have a much bigger space um, or it, yeah it's a lot higher or taller than it used to be right and then uh, you could go ahead and add in some of your own text here, but I would prefer to use a placeholder. So let's go placeholder and let's say, uh, tell us about yourself, All right? Save this, jump back out of the browser and refresh. And now you have a placeholder within uh, the text area and you can type whatever. And when you start typing um, this, tell us about yourself placeholder disappears. Right, so those are some of the other elements that go within a form and uh, that's how you use them. Feel free to go ahead and create a whole bunch of forms now with uh, names, professions, whatever, drop down lists, uh, text areas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below, and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon, and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out. So follow me on social media and check out some more of my content and I'll see you guys next time.